Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm gonna to walk you through this beautiful 2023 Newmar Supreme Air. This is a 4061 floor plan with custom graphics on the outside. I went ahead and left the awnings in so you can kind of see the light reflecting off. It kind of shows that color. It's really pretty color. They want to cover that up. We're going to start up front here. Like I mentioned, this is a Supreme Air, so this is going to be the big horsepower. You're going to have the DD13, which is a 12.8 liter, 525 horsepower with 1,850 pound-feet of torque. You can tell up front, if you're wondering how you can tell a Supreme Air versus a Superstar, other than the price, of course, is if you look at the hood, you can tell we've got a bigger radiator here for cooling. This has 1,400 square inches of uh, cooling with the aluminum radiator. So that allows that horsepower to get cranked up, get you that 525. Up front here, we have our Koa aluminum wheels. Our Michelin tires on this are going to be 365.70 and they are 22 and a half inch wheels. Beautiful look, nice steps to help you in and out. We're going to have backup camera. We actually have 360 camera view on this one. Uh, we've got turn signal cameras as well. As we kind of step back a little, you can see we have the window awning package on this as well as the dual awnings up top. Just going to open these up, give you a good view of all the storage that you're going to have in here. There is your Oasis, Oasis hydronic heating and hot water system. Here is another storage compartment with your central vac and there is an airline there because this does have an airline quick connect. We're going to have our hydraulic steps. I've got them shut off right now so if I open the door they're not going to go in and out. That's what you want to do when you get to your campsite so your steps aren't constantly going in and out. Um, I'll show you the switch inside. As we look here on the side, you can see that masterpiece finish. So you can see that the side of the slide is matched. It's painted to match so it's not just a solid color like you see on some other coaches. Beautiful. You got keyless entry with doorbell. You can lock and unlock your baggage doors from here as well. That makes it kind of nice if you're outside, you don't want to be messing with the, have to go inside to lock and unlock your baggage compartments. Your TV compartment here is set up so that when you first open it, it'll come up about this high, as you just saw, lift up a little further and the struts will extend further so you can have access to your TV. Uh, this does have the Bose sound bar below. And again, if I was out here watching the game, getting prepped for you know tailgate party, I would pull the awnings out, get a little more coverage for that TV, get the lawn chairs going. This is a 40 footer, but it is a, a, a dual axle back here. Okay, so it's gonna have, we're gonna be a 311 inch wheelbase, including the tag. It's 285 plus the tag gives you 311. The front wheels are cut at 52 degrees. Let's see here. Back here, if you can show down in here, Jody, you can see the hydraulic leveling system right behind the tire here. System is strong enough to lift the coach up if you need to. Make sure you have a nice level surface. All right, back here, we're gonna have another storage compartment. We're gonna have a standard outlet in here. And it's just, you know, it's not a, a true pass-through, but it does go quite a ways down there. You're gonna have some spare tiles for the floor. You're also gonna have your glad hands for the back if you need them, if you have a trailer that has air brakes. Here is our central vac system. All right, here in this rear compartment, you're gonna have a light switch for the back here, as you can see those lights. Then I'll go ahead and open the, the rear hatch. So this is different from other coaches. You can see down in here that we've got a nice storage compartment. It's perfect for chairs, folding tables, those kind of things. And then you can also put your fluids back here, oil, tools, whatever you want to put back here. It's a nice way of not wasting any space. 30,000 pound hitch. 
As you can see, we have this tied up. If you watched the previous video, uh, my colleague Callie did a nice video on this horse trailer. There's a Jeep in the back of it. If you missed it, make sure you go back and check it out. Again, 30,000 pound towing. Back here, when I showed you those glad hands, this is where they would go set up, right here. So if you do have a trailer that has air brakes, that would you, that's where you would set it up. You can see that we're gonna have seven pin connector, Voyager camera for your tow trailer. I mean, this has more connections than, than you probably need, but again, if you're towing a double stacker or a big horse trailer like this, uh, hauling some additional toys, you're gonna need all that. You can see the backup camera down below. Additional storage, our 12 5K Onan diesel generator. That is your exhaust for the diesel gen, so be careful as you're walking around not to burn yourself. Down here we have our sewer hose storage compartment. Up top you can see our security light and also another window awning. Window awnings are awesome. If the sun happens to be coming in at the wrong angle and it's bothering you, you just pull out the window awning. Here in our water bay, you can see the nice stainless steel backing. Everything is nicely labeled. You have hot and cold water shower. Your water hose on a power reel. Santacon system. And you have a display up here so you can check, turn on lights, you can set your generator. You can check your tank levels, and then you also have your power uh, valve opens there for your gray and black tank. This coach has 150 gallons of fresh water, 60 gallons of gray, and 40 gallons of black. Here you can see our 50 amp shore cord. We have an inlet here for cable. Here you can see our two, we have two 3,000 watt inverters on the right side, and then we have our two Lithionics batteries there. Those are lithium batteries with 320 amp hours a piece. So you've got 640 amp hours that is expendable to 960 if you add a third battery. One of those inverters can fire up an air conditioner going down the road so that you don't have to fire up your gen. Here you're going to have our chassis batteries that are nicely covered, keeps them protected from the elements. Hundred gallons of fuel capacity, you're going to have a six gallon def tank. You're going to have two air quick connects up there. One of them is for your suspension, so it's an emergency suspension fill. And the other one is just a quick connect in case you need to air up a, you know, paddle board or an inner tube or just put air in your tires. Here's another view of the fuel tank. We also have a hot water tap up there. So we move around the front. I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood on this. And there is the DB13 engine easy access to your coolant, your engine, uh, engine oil and fill, power steering fluid. We've also got some fuses here that are nicely labeled. And then as we come around to the other side, actually down here you can see our on-guard collision mitigation system. Over on this side you can see our uh, windshield washer fluid. And again, a ton of room in there if you really like to work on your own, uh, do your own oil changes, that kind of stuff. If you like servicing your, your, uh, your trucks, the Super C's are really great. Gives you the ability to do that. Up front here, you can see we have our custom C9 grill. To latch this, you just want to latch this on both sides. I'm going to do the other side real quick so I don't forget. I 
All right, now we can go. We'll go inside. Let me shut these doors. Again, we do have hydraulic steps. There's a sensor on the front here, so if it does hit your hit a curb, hit somebody, it will stop. As we come in here, right there on the wall is an emergency uh, override, basically for your steps. So if the steps don't come out, you hold that button, and they'll go out or retract. Alright, so one thing that's kind of cool about Newmar with their Super C's is they give you a step cover. So, while you're traveling, if you've got pets or you've got little ones, you can actually close, lift that up. Kind of makes it nicer so you're not having to worry about something falling down in there. Up here in our main control panel, a couple things to point out. Our battery disconnect. That will shut off all your 12 volt power. Your rear, driver side and passenger side security lights patio light, your exterior LED lights, which you can't really see right now, so I'm not going to turn them on, your slide controls, entry uh, step cover, which I just uh, closed for, actually that's your entry step, so that's the switch you would turn off, not sure if you could hear that, but the steps just came in, and you can shut those off. Step cover, door locks uh, for your baggage compartments. Entry lock, your Wi-Fi router, which is right here, to Wi-Fi Ranger, and then your window awnings. Up here, you're going to have your Gerard awnings. So basically, you just scroll through the different channels. One is the first one, second awning, push in or out, or turn on your lights. Pretty easy to navigate. If you have any questions, you can always give me a call. Wine guard over the air antenna your HWH hydraulic leveling system, and then your HWH master reset. So if at any point your jacks aren't working properly, your steps aren't working properly, uh, or your hydraulic slide, you would hold that for five seconds and reset it. Everything's in a nice central location, easy to get to. We're gonna start up front here, and then we'll come back to the cab. But So in this setup, we're gonna have our booth dinette, this does extend out, and there's two folding chairs under the bed, which I'll show you when we go into the bedroom. TV is on a televator. I will go ahead and lower that now. That will expose the window, give you some more natural lighting. If it's cold out and you really want to just kind of keep the keep the sun or if it's too hot out, you don't want the sun coming in, you can always just close your day shades. They are power, so that is going to be controlled here on your touch panel. So basically, regardless of where you're at, you hit the home button, you would go to shades, and then hit all day shades or all black, uh, night shades, basically. Televators also on here under systems, TV up, down, and you can also turn on your water pump. As far as seating in this one, we have our sofa bed. So this does extend out into a full sofa bed. Uh, if you've got kiddos, you like entertaining, theater seats are nice. But again, if you have kids, grandkids that want to come and cuddle with you, they want to sit by you and watch a movie, uh, couch is a really nice option. Also gives you additional sleeping if you have uh, people staying over. You're going to have some storage overhead on both sides. You can see up here we have our Bose soundbar. And then in here, we're going to have our AV cabinet. You can see we have our satellite hookup. We have some HDMI cables and standard outlets. Over on this side, we're going to have three. And in here right now, we've got our blackout shades for the front and our mat for the front as well, our floor, floor mat. As we come into the kitchen, we're going to have our dual sink here. Let me take these off. Stainless steel sink. It's really, it's good size, plenty deep to wash your pots and pans. 
covers are nice. These are solid, solid covers. So if you need additional prep space while you're getting ready to cook, you can actually use this as counter space. Your two burner induction cooktop. The covers have cutting boards on the opposite sides. I'm just gonna set these down for now. Again, it is a true induction, two burner. This does come out easily. You just unplug it if you want to cook outside. Maybe you're tailgating, whatever you're doing, entertaining outside. You can take it outside and cook. There is a spot right here for all of your sink covers and your cutting boards and cooktop covers. Down here below the sink, you're going to have your trash can and some additional storage with the pull-out tray. Mix it nice, especially if you're getting a little older, you got back problems, knee problems, you don't have to be reaching way back there, just pull out the slide tray, makes it really nice. Put these back. This is an all electric coach, so you are gonna have your convection microwave. You can pop your popcorn, bake some muffins, bake some cookies. Here's our silverware slash remote drawer. We will walk you through the coach if you purchase from us. Our delivery specialist will walk you through it, show you how to use everything, answer any questions you might have. Soft closing drawers. This one is equipped with the dishwasher. Couple more pull-out trays here for storage. Your new Mar uh, owner's manuals. Adjustable shelf in here. And then this layout, the 46 and one's kind of cool. You have this, it's kind of shallow, but you do have a huge pantry with adjustable shelves. Down here, you can see we have our central vac system. That's for your hoses, and that's just to sweep everything into. Instead of sweeping under the rug, you just sweep it into there. It makes it kind of nice. Here is our bathroom. I'll let you go in there and kind of give a good view of that. Plenty of room in the shower. You have the flip-down seat. You have the aqua view system to help you conserve hot water. You have your dispensers mounted on the wall so nothing's falling off while you're going down the road. Huge medicine cabinet with an outlet in here. Plenty of room for all your uh, you know, razors, all your hygiene products, anything you need to plug in there, whether it's a toothbrush, a razor, etc. Toilet paper holder here and plenty of room underneath for all your cleaning supplies. You're also going to have storage right here next to the toilet. And this one down here, plenty of room down there. It's kind of hard to see, but it goes all the way back, so you have a ton of room down there. Then here's some additional. You can see this mid, this cool hinge they set up here on these Numar doors. This is set up so that you can go in and out while the slides are in. You get through the kitchen, you have your residential fridge. This is a whirlpool. It does have a lock here so you can lock it so nothing opens up while you're going down the road. You do have a water dispenser and ice maker. To lock it, you just move that all the way to the left. And then here's your actual pantry. Now these lock when you push them in. 
so that they don't come out while you're traveling down the road. To open them, you push in and then slide them out. So you're gonna have five drawers here, five pull-out trays, and then you're gonna have these dividers down here which you can take out and move around as needed for larger items. It's 40 foot, but you got a ton of storage in here. You're gonna have a pocket door here for privacy to the bedroom. So we come into the bedroom. Of course, we gotta have our Samsung TV. These are smart TVs, so you can stream your favorite videos. Use your Netflix, Hulu, whatever you like to use. Six large drawers that are probably 12 inches deep. So three on top, three on bottom. All the same size. King size bed. Going to have a nightstand on each side with some storage on each side as well. Get this opened up for you. You're also going to have storage over the bed here with an outlet in there. Now before you open the side doors here, you want to make sure these are shut so they don't hit. So I don't know if you can show in there, but there is a cover in there. There's an opening so you can run cables through there. You want to plug something in there and then kind of bring the cord through there. Makes it nice and easy. Also under here is a touch pad and your speaker controls so you can turn off the speaker on each side or both of them. You can also access your lights. Um, you don't have to get out of bed to turn off lights. That kind of stuff makes it really nice. Here in the closet, you're going to have your safe and plenty of room to hang up all your clothes, dresses. Gives you a lot of length here. Built-in shoe rack. Now this also locks right here so that it doesn't slide while you're going down the road. You're also going to have some drawers down here, which I'll get these opened up for you. So you're going to have four drawers. And of course, you're going to have your Splendid washer dryer. If you're spending any amount of time in here, or you got kiddos, you need a washer and dryer. There's another storage compartment. And then under the bed, like I mentioned earlier, you're going to have a couple things. You're going to have the two leaves to extend the booth, uh, your table. And then you're going to have the two chairs so you can have additional seating for your guests. If you don't need the chairs, if it's always just you two or you don't want company, you can leave those at home in the garage and you can use this for storage. As far as the floors, you can see this is a Supreme Air. There's no carpet on the floor. I want to point that out. Makes it nice and clean. You don't have to worry uh, about carpet getting nasty and having to get it shampooed or replaced. You also do have floor heat on this. So here in your main control panel in the bedroom, you can see you can turn on your floor heat, adjust your climate, turn on your generator. A ton of stuff on there that we can go over the phone. Or you can call me, I can FaceTime. I've done a couple FaceTimes this week to kind of expand on some of the stuff I've videoed. So if you have any questions, feel free to call or text me. Even shoot me an email. Now we can finish up here in the cab. We got a ton of storage up here. Because there's no bed over the, the cab, you do have additional storage, which is really nice. and another uh, control panel here, so you don't have to go all the way back to the bedroom. If you purchase this, 
You do have your owner support from Numar. Looks like you'd be talking to Darian on this one. So it gives you her number. She can answer any questions you have. We have a, a skylight, basically, a big window up there with the power shade. It's really nice. Gives you, again, some more natural lighting. Also a beautiful view of your park somewhere out in the middle of nowhere and you can actually see the stars away from the city. That's a perfect way to look at them. Up front, you're gonna have two very comfortable seats. You can't see that, but if you haven't been in them, I'd encourage you to set up an appointment, come down and check them out. You do have adjustable armrests on both sides. These will swivel backwards. Up front, we have a, our main touchscreen here. You're gonna have tire pressure monitoring system, your rear air dump, your uh, locking tags, your shade control for the, the shade I just opened up, your cab ceiling lights, your docking lights, courtesy lights. So if somebody lets you pass them, you can tell them thank you. Generator control, and then your house and chassis battery merge. So if you need to give yourself a jump start, you would hold that while you fire up the, the truck here. A regen, you can do a manual regen. You typically don't have to, I wouldn't mess with it. Uh, really, I would leave that to the techs. It will do an automatic one by itself. If you're going down the road and you see that icon on your dash, just keep driving until it turns off. Also, afterwards, you don't want to park on any grass because it does get really hot and you don't want to burn up some grass. Here are your uh, emergency parking brake. And then this is for your uh, trailer. So if you have a trailer that has uh, air brakes, uh, that's when you would use those glad hands. This would work as your uh, brakes for that. Heated mirrors, power door locks and windows, your AC controls and your heat controls here. You also have an aux cord here and a USB. Allison 4000 six-speed transmission. Again, another marker light here. You're going to have your traction control shut off and your uh, transmission override shut down. Custom steering wheel looks really nice. Basic uh, cluster here on your dash. You're going to have your, your air gauges right here, primary and secondary air gauges, your fuel and your def. Keep an eye on your def. Uh, it will have green bars across there. If it starts getting yellow, make sure you fill it up. Don't let it get to red and ignore it because it'll put you into limp mode. So again, basic cluster up here. Any questions, you can feel free to call me. You do have cruise control right here. You would turn it on there and set it right here. Then you have your lights right there. Power mirrors. And in case you're wondering height, as far as storage, that kind of stuff, this is 13 foot, two inches in height. I'm going to fire this up just to show you what I'm talking about as far as the def gauge here. So you can see right now it's completely full. As those bars start to go down, you want to make sure that you don't ignore that. Of course, we got our city horn right here. I'm going to end it with our wake up the neighbor horn. Uh, if you have kids, let them pull that. They get a kick out of that. It's a lot of fun. So. Uh, that's the walkthrough on this 2023 Newmar Supreme Air. It is available. If you have questions on this one or any other units you've seen on our website, please give me a call. You can call me directly. You can call the main office and ask for me. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720 276 Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week.